Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Browsing through the supermarket the other day, I found this pack of absolutely beautiful napkins. And of course, I had to buy them. And of course, I had to use one in my journal. So, the other thing that happened was I got a new camera and I thought I'd try using that too. And unfortunately, I recorded everything upside down. So, um, for the first while here, while I'm trying to get the backing off of the napkin there, you'll see it's from a different angle than I usually film from. But please bear with me. I'm not going to worry too much now because I don't have to actually show anybody how to put a napkin onto a journal, I'm sure. If I do... Um, I'm going to just speed it up, but I will tell you that I used some matte gel medium. Um, oh yes, this little piece here, I was considering should I use it, and then I did, to blow my nose on. Anyway, I used some matte gel medium, just some local um, stuff from our uh, local art store, and I am going to speed up this video now while you watch me attempt to adhere this napkin to the uh, journal uh, not very well either because if truth be told it's the first time I've ever done one so I'm going to uh, shut up for a minute and let you just watch me fumble my way through this thank you And by the powers of video editing, there we go. I have finally um, adhered the napkin to the background and I have dried it off completely. Okay, so, you know, I left a portion on the right hand side. It's still upside down. Don't worry, it does go the right way around eventually. But I've been taking classes with Karen Campbell of awesomeartschool.com. I can tell you this, I had never been able to draw a whimsical face until I took her lessons. And I, I really, I'm going to put her link to, at the bottom of, um, in the description below, because it's worth your while. If you want to learn how to draw faces, they, she also has a lovely book called Fun Fab Faces or Fab Fun Faces. But at any rate, go and see her, um, go and take a look at her website. And this is how I learned to draw my girls. And I must tell you, every one of my girls has got a name as well. So this young lady will be named near the end of this video. But for the meantime, I'm sketching out all the proportions of where the eyes are going to be placed, the nose, etc. And then I will start using some acrylic ink Oh, I beg your pardon, not acrylic ink. I'm going to use acrylic paint. Just normal, good old, um, I think it's called Americana. I'm just looking. Yes, it is. It's Americana. Um, flesh tones to col color in my young lady. And then, um, because this is a mixed media journal, I'm going to play around with some other media.
Hurrah! I've managed to get my camera to film the right way round. Yay! The other thing that I'm going to do, which is the first time off for me, is I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils. Now, I've been coveting these for quite a while. I purchased them. Um, a friend of mine came from America a couple of weeks ago. She brought them for me. I've been sitting looking at the tin far too frightened to even pick them up i have no clue why and today i thought you know what i have to use them if i don't break the mold or break them in i'm never going to use them or well, what's the point of having these beautiful pencils and by the way i bought the 72 set i should have actually bought the 150 because after doing this um, journal page I have absolutely fallen in love with them and they have worked beautifully over the acrylics so I can't tell you what the colors are that I've used but they're sort of fleshy tones I think the one was called like a salmon pink and there's a light peach or and a dark peach but suffice it to say that I have thoroughly enjoyed working with these pencils now, some of the people that are following me on Art Journal Junkie have asked me to not speed up my videos. They say they prefer to actually watch each stroke and they like the voiceover and they like having no music. But I must say that that would make this an awfully long video and I really don't want to bore any of you with my sort of ramblings on and my doodlings and trying to get things going with these pencils. Remember, they're brand new to me. So um, I pick them up, I toss them aside, I lose the burnisher. Oh, I beg your pardon, you see, it's not even a burnisher, it's a blender pencil. Um, and then I have to find uh, one of my, my paper stubs, and that's dirty, and, you know, everything that was going to go wrong was going to go wrong. But I persevere, persevered through it. Um, oh, yes, this, this pencil sharpener, by the way, best thing I ever invested in. It sharpens your pencil to a beautiful point and something a friend of mine who is a Zentangle teacher, she's a certified Zentangle teacher, her name is Marizan van Beek, she only uses her Prismacolors um, on her Zen inspired artwork and she said to me if she could give me one piece of good advice that is buy a good sharpener she's never had a problem with her prisma pencils breaking and she believes it's because of the sharpener i have heard a lot of people complain that the wax uh, the, the or the lead in the prisma colors tend to break off when they're sharpening and i wonder if it may be because of the type of sharpener that they're using at any rate touch wood i'm touching my forehead by the way i have not yet had a pencil break even though I've only used it for used the, the set for about 30 minutes or so. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed uh, adding some colour into this girl. And I must say, you know, I'm generally very careful of, um, I'm a bit nervous with colour, I'm a bit shy of using it. Uh, not not when it comes to acrylic paints, funny enough, but clearly using watercolors and the prisma colors or the colored pencils, I see I've taken a far lighter tone than I usually do. And I quite like it, actually. So I'm going to let this run a little bit longer in and I'm going to just speed it up, but not as not too fast and let you watch the rest of the um, the process as oops there we go see I dropped a pencil and apparently everybody does so I don't feel too bad so I'm going to speed up the video leave you with a little bit of music and I'll be back in a moment you take care <laughs>
Well, there we go. Okay, there we go. I'm quite happy with with what I've done. The colors aren't quite as good on the camera as they actually are, but I think I'm going to do some journaling in between the black and white lines, and I'll do that off camera. But I quite like the softness of the girl and the color of the toucan and all the napkin and the hibiscus flowers that is on the napkin. It's so pretty. So all I'm doing at the bottom, which, sorry, it's off cam camera, is I'm putting my stomp, which is a Zen Tangle term for your signature, signature. So I'm putting that on with the date. And then um, using a Sharpie, I'm just going to use my own handwriting and add in uh, the heading of this page, which is Toucan because that's that bird. Isn't he gorgeous? And two. Really, am I going to keep you in suspense? No, of course not, because you've seen the name already on the um, title of the YouTube video, so it's Two Can Do It. <laughs> and I can. I've just proven to myself that I don't need to be scared of these beautiful pencils and all the art materials and media that I have. Um, and so with the media and with me, I can do it. I can do mixed media even though it might be very basic um, right now. But I thoroughly enjoyed doing this page. So there we go, people. I hope you've enjoyed this little video as well. And if you have, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up. And come on over to Facebook. Join me at Art Journal Junkie. And for one last um look at it here is my journaling so two can do it and so can i you know you've lost the plot when the only reason that you bought a set of napkins is to use them for collage and i'm calling my girl birdie bye for now and have a great day see you all soon